the one had to create within himself what we call the divine father and the divine mother that then gave birth to creation, what is called the sun. Huh. So the the uh, the inner S U N and S O N. Okay, that 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 is constantly going. The difference is though, when you are close to the level of the one, the unification of the two, gigantic. I mean, gigantic ball of light, is an act of love. It is a sexual act, but it's not based on sex as we call it right. it's based on on making love to each other and they are therefore then creating the seed energy that then propagates throughout all of creation all, all creations and through the, this complete and constant union of the 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 primal uh, beings that are created it's their union that continues and we are at our level meant in all the all the levels are meant to in, in, you know engage in the same i mean you know a, a child that's born out of love is not the same thing as a child that's born out of sex mm -hmm. yeah yeah it's programmed differently there's a different energy that went in hmm. well um y different energy would that mean that a, but whatever soul enters the body from that sexual act is the one that was they wanted to be there and was meant to be, right? So No, it's not as easy as that. No. Every act, every co creative act, we are all co creators. Therefore, when a soul enters the body, it has certain programs that comes from uh past I you know, I don't I don't go into like individual past life, but past programming from a, a grouping of souls it's connected to. When when you the, when you we, you always think that the, that the soul chooses the body. No, the parents, while they're making love, can program for a certain soul to enter their body at the point of making love, especially while they're having the orgasm. If they program for a particular soul to enter their body and to be their, their proge progeny, uh, they will attract and it will be gifted to them, that particular soul. You know, so you don't think the soul itself has a, a play in this? It's, 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 everything in creation is two ways. It has to accept. See, the soul is probably called upon. Uh, and if the parents are not engaged in asking for anything, then it, it just happens, like anything else, more, more or less lately. So it, it's it a, mutual, a mutual consent from both sides. Yes, it's a, always yeah. mutual consent. Everything is about by mutual consent. Always. But if we give up our Create, creational, co-creative ability, which most people do in general, not mm -hmm. only in, in choosing children or or, or molding uh, who they want, you know, as a child, uh, we 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 are not involved in the equation. And then things happen to us, and we wonder why they happen to us. Well, they happen to us because we are not co-creators. We we, not, we we don't realize the power that we have within our minds, especially when we are reproducing the original connection between the upper father and the upper mother yeah. the divine feminine and the divine master so 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 not making a decision is, is making a decision not making a decision is making the decision of not making a decision. <laughs> right <Is that> making, <laughs> well it gets a little tricky there isn't it right. so so this is fascinating and probablefuture.com you you actually do you take people on and teach folks things what what, what kind of work do you do through your website yeah Okay, I'll tell you how this this, this came along. Um, you know, when we started doing, uh, you know, I have a background in mathematics and computers and, right. and also in uh, very deep hypnosis. The uh, when we, you know, in order to do remote viewing, basically what people were doing, especially in Europe, they were peop pe uh, t taking people and putting them into very very deep state of what they call deep state of mind, which means that the brain, the cortex, uh, is 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 somehow getting uh, quieter and vibrating at lower frequencies, allowing for the deeper frequencies of the deeper brain to come to the surface. That's what you see in the manifest form of the brain. So if you do an EEG tracing, you will find more uh, alpha waves coming up, and then as you go even deeper, you find more theta waves coming up, and then that's the point which is right on the border of what we call sleep. And then you can even enter these unconscious level where we go every night, uh, which is below um, seven, I'm uh, sorry, four, four cycles per second. And then at that point, you can uh, start um, being in delta, 
but being aware of having your body asleep, but your mind is still awake. You, you follow me? Yeah. Okay, now when, when you are in delta, or you are in deep theta, uh, between uh, four and seven, um, you're, you're, in reality, what does that mean? It means that your in intellectual mind, which is what we operate most of the day with, that's the mind that interfaces with what we think is reality. Mm -hmm. And is programmed by our parents, by our schooling, by our educational system, by by life, in in order to, for us to be able to handle this reality. That particular mind gets to be put in the background, and then suddenly you start connecting to what I call heart intelligence, which is connected to your real self, your higher self, if you want your divine self, and then you start getting messages and then feelings and, and intuition. And then you can basically cross the barrier of, of time and space because you're outside of the game of time and space. Yeah, you're outside of that. So that's where this whole remote viewing idea comes from, where you as soul or divine or, or you know, you call it your higher self, but just for simplicity, I like the mm -hmm. term soul, that you're, yeah. actually, you're actually just becoming more aware of where you already are. Yeah, you you become more aware of your what I, what I call your eternal your eternal self. Your yeah. all, your omnipotence that's already there. Yeah, yeah. In other words, and and fear is say, let's say fear of death, for instance, which is very capital in in a biology because the biology has a tremendous fear of death. Right. As we merge with a biology, we get this very strong fear of death. That fear is removed. Yeah. Once you, you once, well, once you know you that know, you're not, you're not no the, yeah. Once you know you're not the body, then it's 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 not. Yeah, it's like yeah, I go into a car and I drive a, you know, I'm, I'm driving a, a particular car, and then in, uh, I know the car is getting older and it's starting to rust. Well, then you know, I get off the car and I go and get another car. Uh -huh. So, but I, I'm not worried about it. Did uh, Did you have experiences, uh, Gerald O'Donnell, when when you were uh, young uh, that that got you in this direction? What 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 started you with this? Uh, you know, you know, it's it's it, what starts you. It's I I have the very strong belief that most uh, most of the time there are special souls or special people that are come for special tasks. Uh -huh. It doesn't mean that the others are not special. It means that these are there are people that come for unusual tasks, and they are usually tasked from very early on and connected from very early on with certain awarenesses, and they just feel this 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 compulsive mission inside. Them. To do something for others or for whatever that is, you know, it could be uh, saving, uh, you know, finding a new cure for cancer or anything. But these are these are these are beings who have this passion because it comes. That passion does not come from the lower self; it comes from the higher self, uh, tasking and hoping to communicate with the lower self, telling it, you know, this is why you came in here, and then you you help you're helping the the one the, the the totality you know you 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 you're doing you, you this is your job right, try, right, try right, to, right, to yeah. achieve as much as you can yeah, yeah. but uh, can you uh, would could it not be argued that all souls who come in they have something really special to do but just some realize yeah. it or are aware of it uh i would say m more, many do not realize it and it's very often it's not their fault Okay, yeah, or they yeah. realize they re, they blink in in and out of realization. You know, so they they become aware for a while and then they go back into unawareness. It's due to the gigantic pressure from society. It could be parental pressure. It could be uh, school pressure. It could be just the fact that you know life pressure as far as jobs and and the way they are looked upon. Uh, so there, there is the the system right now because because you have to understand that all systems have a life of their own. They're artificial, but they have a life of their own. You can take a, a real being and evolve it, but it's very difficult to take a system that has developed an artificial type of intelligence and a life of its own and, and, and allow and rely on it to evolve itself. Because it is not, that system is not divine. It doesn't have the capacity to, to change on its own and evolve within divine intelligence. It has this artificial type of structure. You follow me? Yeah, where it's doing something related um, because of how it did it before, and it's just trying to build on that. Exactly. So it's and going it will, on it the will, past, it, and it will fight. Yeah. And you will, it will fight very strongly to keep its own mecha mechanical system going. Yeah, that that could be attributed to like 
uh, just souls who are, uh, God love them, who are unconscious and, and just having a hard time and confused and in fear, or even governments would be a system Absolutely. like that, right? Uh, absolutely. Especially uh, when you when you talk about government structure, yeah. when you talk about corporate structure, when you talk about uh, uh, any kind of of structure uh, that we follow, you know, financial structure, yeah. the, the, the uh, political structure. These are structures. You know, even religious structures are structures, sure. and they will fight to stay uh, alive because these structures, since they are artificial, this is very interesting. What I'm going to tell you, okay, and that goes, they, they draw on your energy. In order for them to exist, to, to exist, they will draw on the energy of the people that that look up to them and then play the game. You know that is their lifeblood. That's their life lifeline, and lifeblood. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. and it makes them strong, artificially strong, because they're not divine, but they they draw on the energy. When when you are an artificial being, which when you are an artificial structure, no matter what the structure is. Do you know how you know when, that you're, you're not divine? Because you do not d draw on the energy of love. You mm. will always draw on the energy of fear. Yeah. You will try to provoke situations that will create fear, and you will draw on that energy. And that's why I, in this writing here, I will talk about there are creators, or there are many creators and, and energies. That are, there are divine energies, but there are also creators and, and energies that are not divine energies. They are artificially created for a particular purpose. And those so-called co-creators or sometimes creators, have, some of them being very, very powerful because they've been around for, for eons, uh, or the, the, their mo modus operandi is that they will always try to put the grouping of people, that they, as many people as they can, as a matter of fact, under their, their control and put them in a state of fear. So, and aggression and violence, and then then they draw energy from that, and they become even more powerful. And the obvious uh, um, aspect of that would be governments, right? Governments do that. Government, and, and that's what they you do. Know, I operate on on very high energy. Trust, trust me. Our government here has the power of a little piece of sand in an ocean of consciousness, compared to some of these higher uh, artificially created energies that have been somehow manipulating and controlling creation for, for eons because they were created in order to allow for the experience of expansion to to happen because within the nature of the one, which is one, the one could never do that. He wouldn't have the heart to do that. So he had to create, or he had to create a very intelligent type of being, intelligent, but almost heartless, which is basically the, what, how you define a structure. Huh. You see? Yeah, stay right that, there. That intelligent being would then have sub beings, and then it would start, you know, creating structures that will fit this way of operation, and that allowed for the expansion of the of of the, the of the creation sphere into uh, what we have today, which is very very far away from the original intent.